Hey everybody, I'm here today with a few different examples of myself calculating sales tax. Now this is, this is a very simple math lesson, but it can also be uh, used on, you know, in regular daily activities when you are buying something and you have to pay sales tax on that product. So it's a math lesson, but it has many different uses with regards to purchasing products on a daily basis. So right here I have two examples. The first example is a product that costs $70.00. And the second example on the right is a product that costs $180, okay? So to calculate sales tax by itself, to figure out just how much sales tax you are going to have to pay on the product, you have to multiply the price of the product by zero point and then the percentage of sales tax. So for this example, I imagined that we were, uh, we were using an 8% sales tax. So it'd be 70 times 0.08 for 8%. But if you had something like a 15% sales tax, it would be 70 times 0 0.15, 0 0.15. But for this example, all that we have to do to calculate the sales tax is multiply 70 times 0 0.08, and that gives us 5.6, which means $5.6 or $5.60. That is how much sales tax we are going to have to pay on $70, on a $70 product if the sales tax percentage was 8%. Now in this second part right here, I am calculating the total cost of the product. I am basically going to calculate the original price of the product plus the sales tax. So let's say that I went to buy a $70 product and had to pay 8% sales tax. This formula will give me the final price of the product including the original price of the product plus the sales tax on top of the original price. So all that you have to do is multiply the price of the product by one point and then the sales tax percentage. Once again it's 1.08 because we are imagining that we are uh, using an 8% sales tax, we are paying an 8% sales tax, but it can be 1.15 if we were, uh, if we had to pay a 15% sales tax or any number, whatever the percentage is, you just push, you just uh, put the percentage right there after the decimal. So 70 times 1.08, 70 times 1.08 equals seventy five dollars and sixty cents seventy five point six so it equals seventy five dollars and sixty cents that is the total cost of the original price of the product plus the sales tax that is what I will have to pay if I am buying a seventy dollar product at eight percent sales tax that is the final price that I will have to pay now we're just going to do the same thing for the other example right here the hundred and eighty dollar product at an 8% sales tax, I'm going to do 180, 180 times 0 0.08, which is going to give me 14.4 or $14.40. Okay, sorry about that. That looks like a 9, but it's a 4. 14.4. I apologize. Um, and if I wanted to calculate the total cost of the original price of the product plus the sales tax on top of it, I would just multiply it by one point and then the sales tax percentage. So 1.08. Once again, 180 times 1.08 is equal to $194.40. And 40 cents. 194.4, $194.40. And that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you a few examples of myself calculating sales tax. I have used two different prices with two different imaginary products. I have shown you the process for calculating just the sales tax on those products and I've also shown you the process for calculating the total cost for the products which includes the original price of the product plus the sales tax on top and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching